In this video, what I want to show you is how to add sound effects to your transitions. We just recently went over how to create zoom transitions like the one seen here. How do you add sound effects um, so that they actually sound a little bit better? Well, the first step is to actually be able to, you know, know a reliable place where you can get sound effects. So I like to get mine from motionarray.com. Um, I'm going to show you how to get free sound effects for these specific transitions right now. Now you can download sound effects from YouTube. Um, if you go to listen to youtube.com, you can paste any sound effect in there and it will automatically download as an MP3 file. There's a variety of other sites like artlist.io that are paid, but you can go ahead and download, you know, sound effects from there. But um, motion array works well so I'm gonna go ahead and come to audio in motion array and click on sound effects and if you create a free account you can scroll down and select free assets here and I'm just gonna go with this tiny whoosh um, uh, transition pack because it works well with these transitions all right there's a, a few different transitions that are going to download if i download this so i'm going to go ahead and click download but as you can see there's other sound effects here like text message sound effects cinematic impacts um, you know a variety of different sound effects there's quite a lot of them that are free so go ahead and create an account if you would like to and check this out all right so i'm going to go ahead and open up this pack that I just downloaded. I'm going to press extract because it did download in a zipped folder. And if I look at all these sounds here, I'm going to bring these and import them straight into Premiere. Okay. So I'm going to press file import. I'm going to come into my tiny whoosh and um, I can go ahead and select all of these and import them. All right, now I want to I want to listen to each one, um, and see which one it is that's going to work well with my project. Now I think this one is you know pretty good, um, and one of the cool things about sound effects is you're going to want to listen to them. You're going to want to line them up with your transition, of course, but you can also change the speed duration of them. So changing the speed duration slightly, like 80, is going to make the sound effect kind of slow down. All right. The other thing about sound effects, if you do have music in your project, for example, is you can double click on the sound effect, come up to the, you know, um, panel if you're in editing and look for the audio clip mixer. And this is gonna allow you to, you know, decrease the volume of the sound effect. So by changing the speed duration and, you know, adjusting the actual sound of the sound effect and changing the volume, you should be able to, you know, locate the sound effect that you wanna use and then slightly customize and adjust it for your specific edit. And you can continue this for all the edits in your timeline. You can also look for, you know, time lapse sound effects like um, you can look for busy street sound effects and just put in some ambient noise uh, into the background that's going to bring your footage to life. Um, I hope that helps. You can add this to your tool belt. Again, just remember, you can find sound effects from anywhere online. You can bring them into the audio track. You can change the speed of them and adjust the volume duration of them. The other thing that is important to note is um, coming into the effects tab here and searching for, uh, I like to search cross, and you'll see these crossfade audio transitions. So you have constant gain. If I drag that onto the beginning of my clip, it's gonna constantly just get louder and louder. So it's going to transition into the sound effect. Okay. If I drop, if I have two sound effects, for example, and I drop a constant power between them, it's going to like cross dissolve between both of the sounds. So if you want to transition from this zoom sound effect 
into a time lapse sound effect, you could drop a cross dissolve in between them and it would fade both those sounds together. And then we have the exponential fade. The exponential fade is going to slowly decrease the audio um, as the clip sound effect comes to an end. So we'll like lower the volume um, to transition into another sound effect or audio, for example. And again, you can drag these transitions and you can, you know, change them a little bit if you want it to fade out very quickly or if you want it to fade out very slowly. So that wraps up this tutorial. I hope that helped you guys with sound effects.